can you do the Unreal Wings at home? And do they taste as good as going to Hooters? And how about the cost difference? We're gonna figure it out. Hey guys, it's Liz from Veggie Every Day. I'm back on the Hooters train. Remember when I ordered the Unreal Wings and reviewed them and it turned out I really did like them. But then I got to wondering, what if I made them at home? Would it be way cheaper? Would it be tastier? What's the deal, right? And so far this experiment is already not going well. <laughs> uh, but I'm still gonna freaking do it anyway. So let me explain. So started out with, I tried to order the corn nuggets, which is, well, they're corn wings. And I've never seen wings in our stores here from corn. I gotta be real, I didn't try all that hard. Like, cause I'm not going to stores right now. We're still, you know, under semi-lockdown or whatever you wanna call it, restrictions. And so I've been getting groceries delivered. So I didn't go to like Whole Foods or, um, natural brochures are in this super, super specialty stores. So I'm not sure if we have the wings here. So I thought corn, like the nuggets would be close enough. So that's what I ordered, but that's not what I got <laughs> cause they were out. So I got the Morningstar Farm chicken nuggets, which I actually haven't tried, which is kind of surprising for me. Um, and then I also got, just on a whim, a second kind, I got the uh, raised and rooted nuggets because I've been seeing a lot about them in my vegetarian groups on Facebook. So I thought, hey, why not, right? Um, let's see what, I know that the corn ones are made of a protein that's made like from mushrooms. I want to say, should go back and reference my own video. That'd probably help, right? Uh, what's in there? Plant-based. By the way, plant protein. That's probably the most generic. Oh, look, it tells me, yay! Pea protein plus egg white plus golden flaxseed. So these ones are not vegan, they're vegetarian. So what? That seems kind of messed up, right? Cause you see plant-based and you think vegan. So I guarantee you some vegans are gonna pick these up thinking they're vegan. And then you look up, egg white. Kind of rude. I don't care because I'm not a vegan, but kind of rude to them, right? Morningstar, I think went all vegan. Yeah, they did. See, do to do vegan because they used to have egg in a lot of their stuff, egg whites. Um, so these ones are actually vegan, and these ones, let's see. Um, God, the print is tiny, like, and I have my contacts in, but still. I don't know what veggie nuggets with the crispy outside and a tender inside, but there's no big like from natural sources, but what's in them? Um, water, wheat flour, soy flour, vegetable oil, soy protein isolate. So I guess it's like a TVP, which I can't remember what that stands for right now, but it's like a soy thing. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. I suck at ingredients. <laughs> um, we have any uh, soy protein uh, experts? Let me know down below. Okay, so remember I said that the nutrition on the Hooters stuff was atrocious and horrible and terrible for you. Um, you can go back and reference that video. These are, the Morning Star are 200 calories, 12 grams of protein, um, and nine grams of fat for four nuggets. The raised and rooted are fairly similar. It looks like 220 for four pieces, 13 grams of fat, um, and nine grams of protein. So, you know, differences here and there. Um, so then next up, I got the stuff from Hooters, the medium wing sauce, and because that was actually, ironically, I tried all those sauces and my favorite was like the original, which is kind of lame if you ask me, but it was, it was my favorite. And I got this and here's where we start to go wrong. I realized that Hi Liz, they're already breaded. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, so that got me thinking, right? So I emailed Hooters because I wanted to know, because this is like a proprietary 
whatever. Uh, Hooters wing breading and it's, you know, their special breading, right? And I don't know what makes it special. Let's see. Wheat flour, salt, spices, natural flavor. So, the name. <laughs> I don't see how it's probably not any different than like any other breading, right? So this isn't that bad. 80 calories and no fat, whatever. The sauce is 120 calories. This is two tablespoons. Uh, 13 grams of fat. Um, no protein. So the sauces are what really kill you. And I think me getting them on the side last time helped a lot. Because I think if you just douse it in the sauce, you're going to be <laughs> clogging your arteries really, really fast. It also probably didn't help that I ordered the mac and cheese and the tots. And then I didn't know fries came with it. And yeah, it was a mess. Anyway, so I emailed Hooters and I said, is your breading the corn breading? the corn brand, like their breading that they put on the wings, or is it the Hooters breading put on the, like the corn inside, whatever that is, the mushroom protein or whatever. And I also asked, do you fry them like in the same container as the meat, which I'm not super spazzy about that. Like it kind of bothers me, but I'll still eat it. Um, I'm guessing they probably didn't buy separate fryers from real wings, but who knows? Like they have, they serve them at all the locations across the country. So they might have, they might have a separate fryer. I don't know. Then I also asked them, is this stuff, is it like the sauce? Is the sauce the same in the store as if you try it in the restaurant or is there a difference? And they didn't email me back. <laughs> How rude. So, if you know anything about Hooters and whether or not any of those questions, <laughs> whether they use their breading or the corn breading, whether it's fried with the meat, um, and whether the sauce is the same in the store, if we have anybody who works at Hooters that's watching this, sweet, please comment below. Like, give me the intel. I want to know. Um, anyway, so we are going to try these in the air fryer, which guaranteed to be, um, healthier, uh, you know, and I still, I still don't know why. Remember when I tried them and they were sweet before I even had any sauce on them? Like, did they like put them in breading and then dip them in sugar and then fry them? Why were they sweet? I have no idea. Okay, we're gonna try these out. Okay, so first up, we've got the Raised and Rooted, which were the ones we already established are not vegan. Um, first off, they're huge. They're like, oh, ooh, ooh. yeah, they're pretty big. Actually, they're as big as I think the corn ones, you know, and really the corn wings did not look like wings, they looked like this. So, hey, if you're wondering how I do the air fryer, I basically follow the instructions on the package and I go under because I don't like things overly like fried to a crisp. I lose all the taste. So this said eight to 10 minutes. No, it's a 10 to 12 minutes at 400. I did eight to start out with to be safe. And then I added another two and I still probably could go more. Um, if you like them like super done, which I don't. So I did 10 minutes at 400. So let's try this out. The sauce, by the way, the Hooter sauce, is super, super thick. And I think it was like that when I got it from the restaurant too. So I think it's pretty, pretty similar to what I got from delivery. The sauce tastes exactly the same as in the store. So there's that answer for you, which is good because I hate it. You know, when you get stuff and it's supposed to be like a brand and it doesn't taste the same as when you have the regular experience. So yay on that. These are, this is what it looks like inside. They're super light. Um, they're not um, as chewy as the corn ones were. The corn ones had a little bit of a stringy not stringy but denser i guess they were denser but these are really really good i would definitely be down with these 
Um, let's do the Morning Star next. Okay, so on to the Morning Star ones. To start off with, they were quite a bit smaller. You can see then the, um, so really, if you're trying to like add up to you like the Unreal Wings, these ones are not, at least size-wise, much of a comparison. Um, it's at 14 to 16 at 375. And for some reason, my air fryer only goes 370 or 380. There's no 375. So I went to 380 because I'd rather have them crispy and I did it for 12 minutes and that ended up perfectly done. So just in case you need to know how to do these in the air fryer. Well, my air fryer, which is a power air fryer, a small one. Okay, let's try these bad boys out. Guys, I'm a sucker for condiments. I really am. Gosh, I, I feel like those ones taste more like the Hooters ones. Um, I'm not even sure why, just the taste, like the savoriness. It doesn't have that weird sweetness I said that the Hooters had. I still don't know what they did. I bet you, I bet they coated them in butter or sugar or something. I don't know, because they were terrible for you. But these are really good too. I think I like the other ones better because they're like lighter and like the light crispy, like, you know how, um, like when you pan fry something, how it tastes like light and crispy instead of like the dense, like, you know, I think that's why I like the Raisin Root ones, I think better. I, but I would do either. I would go for either. And as far as this, this is bomb. But again, Liz is trying to lose weight, right? Well, let me show you the other one that I got, hold up. So this one I got at the store um, and it's Moore's original buffalo wing sauce and it tastes just as good, but I don't know why. It's only 20 calories per two tablespoons and um, good lord, that's tiny print. Um, like one gram of fat, right? I, you guys, I can't see it. There's a weird reflection going on. This is the tiniest, tiniest print I've ever seen in my life. I think it's like one gram of fat. Anyway, all I know is like when I put in like half a tablespoon or like one tablespoon of Weight Watchers, it's zero points. So it's really, really not bad for you at all. So if you're looking for a healthier option on the buffalo wing sauce, I would definitely go with this one. Maybe not healthy, more like not as devastating to your diet. Okay, so I thought these were both really good. No, they did not taste exactly like the Hooters, but I liked it better actually, because I, the Hooters tasted really good, but I just kind of tasted here and there. I felt like if I ate a whole plate of those, I would have felt miserable afterwards because they were so heavy. Um, let's go ahead and check out the prices here. I had this ready for you guys. Okay, so when I ordered Hooters, I had six wings, six sauces, and the tots and all of that together was $21.54. The Morning Star Nuggets were $4.99 and you've got uh, three and a half servings of four in there. And again, the Hooters was six wings. And the Rooted and Raised is two and a half servings of the four, so about like 10 nuggets in there. Um, and that one was I somehow deleted my price. I, I think it was around five or six dollars. And the breading was $3.59, which of course we didn't end up needing. And the Hooter sauce was $5.99, which is a little pricey, but think about this. If you basically it's about the same like price, right? Um, if you add five, ten, fifteen, whatever, like you get about twenty to fifteen, twenty dollars for all the stuff I bought. But you're talking about here, like six, seven servings as opposed to the one serving for Hooters. So price-wise, there's definitely no comparison whatsoever. So thanks for joining us for another random experiment with Liz. If you're looking for more food ideas, um, check out our vegetarian food group on Facebook. I'm always trying out things on my Instagram and my Veggie Everyday page on Facebook. Also, if you'd like to see more videos from us, please like below and ring the bell to get notified when the next video comes out.